Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is 6.21 a.m. Central. Take a look quickly at the calendar. Put this on Central Time. And then we see that we had some bad news out of Japan. And flat news out of Europe. For our numbers coming up today, nothing really on the calendar today, no news. Monday, CPI, Red Book, or Tuesday, I mean, Tuesday, excuse me. Wednesday, we have our building permits. And we have our um, FOMC minutes. So this could get interesting where they voted for the December hike. So Thursday, jobless claims. And Friday, FOMCs. Um, so really, the, the news this week is going to be those minutes on the FOMC and the jobless claims. Um, looking at the charts, we have had crude rollover um, and we just pushed through the 70.5%. So this down leg is over and I'll be looking for price to break out or consolidate and go sideways. It can either do that or it will just do this. And so if it's going to go up and out, it should do so in one or two cycles. If it goes past two cycles, then it's going to go choppy. And it's just going to chop up and down between these Fibonacci ranges. Um, my best guess with what the world events that are happening is that we are going to move up pretty quickly to the 4430 area. And then the market will probably take a pause there to rest and decide what it wants to do as far as the continuation or more consolidation between 43 and 45. But I do see this coming up to 44. Here's our slope that we were in and now we're in a change of slope as evidenced by the change in slope on my crude nat gas signal. This is just the standard signal. And here is the trigger to fine tune entries. You can see we came out of a three and four, two and three, excuse me. I'm going to have to get my head wrapped around here. I've got the base, I've got one, which can either be momentum or value, uh, two and three, which are the higher time frame participation and that's what you want. You want this to be outside the previous high on the daily and weekly and that's what this is. So when you're going outside value in the direction of the trend you can press your trades for as long as possible. And that's what these codings are, right? So I had a customer over the weekend um, David, who asked if I could put the solvers on one solver so I didn't have to have the tier system because he had several oscillators and things that he likes to look at and it just takes up too much real estate. So I'm going to work on combining these filters into one filter and um, maybe I can get them on the market analyzer 
so we can um, get a better determination. But for right now, it's a pretty good system the way it works. I have my um, higher time frame trend on the daily, weekly, weekly, daily, 6015. So I know what I want to be all short or long if it's mixed like it is here. My weekly daily has not caught up to the change in slope. Then you can either go with the new momentum or wait for it to turn around and go back in the direction of the weekly daily. I would just prefer to find a market that's going all the way across. So let's pull up the euro, why don't we, and look at it. Because we know that's going to parity, right? So the euro came up to the um, previous value low and turned around. It came up to the previous point of control, tagged it, and pushed back down. So this is following the market profile pretty well. My abbreviated market profile, my special custom market profile that I use. And I see that we pushed off this high volume node right here and we're pushing down so this might be a very good trade down to VWAP at 106.87. So let me change this to the currencies. There's my signals. We're, we're only looking for shorts. I've got some tier one mo, um, that's value um, momentum. I want to see what my mom trend is doing. Yes, I've got some mixed messages in here. I would prefer to see this all red. But it is what it is. There's the trigger. It filters out some of this chop. But it is what it is. So we're going to be looking for um, change in direction. And I will show you the daily on this real quick to show you the change in slope hasn't really caught up yet. It's been hanging on to this 107. 1.07 level that we need to get through to make this a bona fide downtrend. See, my change in slope has not really started yet. It will probably start with today's close below the open. So we're still in a change in slope right now ourselves. We don't know. Well, we do know because we know what's going on in the world. But this most likely is going to be continuing to sell off. So I don't like the fact that I'm not in a down slope on the daily. But I do have the higher time frame trend. Whoop, it just changed. See that candle? It pushed through my levels on my daily, on my 6015. It's right on that precipice. So if this pushes up here, 
see it's flirting with this trend. So I will probably want this to get below 107 to get involved. Get below my deviation bands. And start moving down. Here's the value 10727. At least break through that, the value low. And start moving down. I guess people were starting to move to the yen too as a flight to safety. So I don't know if that's what's happening to the euro, is if they're confused, they don't know whether it's a flight to safety or if it's a sell off. So we'll have to keep our eye on that. Maybe we should have looked at gold. Let's look at gold and see if that gives us a better signal. Well, I've still got my change in trend on the daily for my slope. I prefer to have the slope match the trend where possible, but and it does look like a flight to safety because it's moving higher against the um higher time frame trend. So you can see how confused this market is. It doesn't know whether to go up or down. And right now, let me put this on. There's the trigger. We're in consolidation right now. And you can see the mixed messages where it says go long and, it, and this says no, don't go long. And this says go long and this says no, don't go long. <clears throat> mixed messages. I had some of those this weekend. All right. So this is not helpful either because we are this on the right gold. This market's not going to help me either for trading today. So I'm finding markets that are moving against their trend. So it may be a good day to work on the strategy and sit out of the markets unless I can find something that's moving directionally. The pound looks like it's selling off. Well, the euro does look like it's sold off, so I'll probably go back to the euro. That'll probably be my best bet. So let me put this back on the 6E and wait for my value area low to get taken out and see if there's going to be a trend continuation push below the prior day low. So I have my trade plan. This does look like it's pushing down. So I might go ahead and take a trade. And there you go. I'm short the euro. Let's just hope it doesn't come back to the value area high and stop me out. Actually, I don't think I'm going to let it get much past this point of control, this second, this first value high. And I'm doing the Tom Alexander approach to market profile which is um, splitting the uh, value area between 70 and 25 percent and that makes it very helpful. It's almost like having that first standard deviation on a VWAP. Y'all be good. Have a good trading day. It looks like there's a bunch of mixed messages and I'm going to be working on my strategy. Thank you so much.